Welcome to the Sports Science Collective Coaching Science Series. In this video, we discuss the three stages of motor learning. Fitz and Posner's three-stage model is one of the traditional cognitive theories of skill acquisition used to explain cognitive and behavioural changes that occur through the learning of motor skills. It is proposed that as movements are learned, individuals gradually progress through three stages which comprise of a cognitive stage, an associative stage and an autonomous stage. Fitz and Posner's stage theory of motor learning is conceptually similar to other information processing theories that propose movement becomes automatic as individuals progress through the learning continuum. Fitz and Posner's stage theory proposes that beginners in the cognitive stage rely on working memory and need to consciously attend to the movement, breaking it down into steps during execution. While completing the movement, beginners use declarative knowledge and integrate this into their movement, which is broken down into sequences. The unintegrated control structures responsible for movement are attended to in a step-by-step -step fashion. During this phase, there is a large amount of variance and error in skill performance. As the learner reaches the associative stage, information begins to operate through proceduralized processes separate from working memory, and movement becomes fluent in motion. Reaching this stage is dependent on the skill and may require varying amount of deliberate practice which is described as practice that is both effortful and working towards improving performance. Due to the high amount of deliberate practice, elite athletes operate in the autonomous stage and have typically overlearned skills, meaning they can be executed with minimal cognitive effort required. When attention is no longer occupied by the mechanics of movement, it may instead be used for perceptual cognitive processing resulting in improved anticipation and decision making. At this stage of learning there is minimal variance and error in skill performance and greater ability to detect errors in movement. Fitz and Posner's three-stage theory suggests the processes and cognitive demands of performing movements change as a result of differences in skill level, task complexity and amount of pressure on the individual. An understanding of this theory will help inform coaches on how to best design training for each individual. Specifically, training prescription should change in order to continually challenge athletes as they progress through the three stages of motor learning. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future Sports Science Collective Coaching Science Series videos.